In this IOB podcast, repurposing your podcast, the what's, why's, and how's, plus a podcast critique of the Cartoon Reboot Podcast. This is the IOB Podcast. I'm your host, Mike, and it's my goal to make your podcast the best. Thank you for listening to another IOB podcast episode. My name is Mike. This is our 16th episode. Repurposing is so important, and that's what we'll discuss. And we have a critique of the cartoon reboot. All right. Repurposing. You repurpose your podcast, right? A lot of people don't really know what repurposing is. It's easy. You make a podcast, you distribute it to the podcast networks, then you post it on YouTube as a video, and also on Facebook and anywhere else you're at. Then you send out that content, edited of course, in a newsletter. Then you post images, text, and audio snippets of all of this content on Instagram and Twitter at all, anywhere else that you are located online. Finally, you post your entire content in a blog. You do all of that, right? Well, very few, very few. I say again, very few people are capable of doing all of this unless you have an entire team. However, The effect is tremendous, even if you just do a little repurposing. This is repurposing, taking a podcast or taking a newsletter or taking a YouTube video and putting it someplace else, another purpose. You know, some people like to watch videos. Some people like listening to audio. Some people like reading. They're different, but They are all interested in content, and chances are they'll be interested in your content. If you have been following our podcasts, you'll notice that actually I'm repurposing this podcast was originally a newsletter. I'm repurposing our newsletter. Of course, I add information, too. I do a little bit of ad lib. But the crux of the non-interview podcasts are repurposed from my newsletters. So I want you to think about how you might benefit by repurposing your content. I'm imagining that most of our listeners are not simply newsletter writers. But if you are, so far only a newsletter writer, or perhaps you're only a YouTuber, then you're missing out on a great opportunity. That is podcasting. Take your content and put it into a podcast. Take your content and put it on YouTube. Take your content and put it into a newsletter. The direction doesn't matter. From where you start to where you go doesn't matter. Whether you start with a podcast or a newsletter or a blog or a video, That doesn't matter. But where else and how might you repurpose your content is something that you need to think about. And if you are repurposing, please share your content with us. We'll help you spread the news. Send me an email, mike at introoutrobed.com. Podcast critique. It's time to give a critique. And this time our victim our victims, actually, there's three of them. The Cartoon Reboot, they do a great podcast all about anime, cartoons, manga. Do you say manga or manga? I'm not exactly sure because I'm old. Yeah, the the comic books that I read are like old Superman comic books. Does anybody know? Does anybody remember Richie Rich? Yeah, the cartoons that I watched are, you know, Hanna-Barbera. You know, Bugs Bunny, Mr. Magoo, uh, Speed Buggy. Does any does anybody remember Speed Buggy? I am really, really aging myself. But these guys also talk about things like, uh, is it Mr. Doctor Who, right? Do- See, now, once again, 
I watched Doctor Who a long time ago, and I understand there's a new version of Doctor Who, but the hosts of the cartoon reboot, Le Jour, La Tire, and Ishmael, they do a really great job. I really like their podcast. Now, you guys, I'm going to be honest. Um, so I listened to episode 38. Episode 38 was your most recent one. And in the very beginning, I understand why you did it because it's funny, but it's a lot of chit chat before you actually start the podcast. Now, remember, guys, there are always going, hopefully, always going to be new people tuning in. So as a new person, when I first listen to episode 38, I'm like, what? what? What's going on? Well, this is kind of crazy. And I worry if you do that too much for too long, it's going to turn off potential listeners. They're not going to get to the main content that is so great. So once again, this is about the chit chat. And I've talked about chit chat before. There's a limit to the amount of chit chat that you want to throw at people, especially when it's a teaser. And these guys, you know, you, you used it as a teaser and it was good. However, I was listening to your podcast because I wanted to critique it. So I forced myself to listen through <laughs> the intro, the, the beginnings of episode 38. It was, and I'll, I'm just being honest, so don't get mad, but it was too much, in my opinion, a lot of chit-chat. Now, for your regular listeners, they probably loved it. But for somebody new, eh. your intro music. Where did you get it? I can't find it, um, and I'm not sure why you chose that music. So this is a great opportunity for you guys. Maybe TJ can create something for you. In my opinion, again, I think you should have a better intro music, uh, intro song. And I have a, an idea for a format for you, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So again, in episode 38, you gave us your names, but it was pretty quick. It was pretty rapid. And I think for some people, they may not have caught your names. You need to be a little bit more succinct. Okay? New people do not know who you are. And this is, and there's, and you have to think as a podcaster, you have to hope there's always somebody new coming in. So your names, who is talking to me, is really important. And I've talked about this before. If it's two people, it's kind of okay. But when it's more than two people, you should be using each other's names and make it clear. Okay. Make it clear who you're talking to when it's more than two people, especially try not talking over each other. And this is something that each individual has to pay attention to. And of course, especially in, in, in this podcast, you guys are, are very funny. You're very creative and very funny. So you're, you're all of you want to add something and, and make something more enjoyable for the listener to make a joke, to add a comment, but you really got to be careful. You guys have great charisma, and actually, despite three different people and despite your remote locations, the audio quality is very good. It absolutely could be improved. However, I don't think that is a big uh, problem for you. The audio quality, I liked it. It was good. You're closing. Uh, you had a good CTA. CTA, once again, call to action, telling people, you know, the website, uh, how to contact you. That was really nice. I like that. And the way you do most of your closings was interesting, too, because you would take basically a, a, a clip of a movie, a cartoon or a, a Doctor Who or whatever, and you'd, you'd use a bit of that and then a fizz out. I like that. That was cool. I thought that was pretty good. Um, episode 33, I thought the intro was better. And also in the intro, you mentioned a CTA. CTA, guys. CTA. Call to action. T 
telling your listeners to do something, to email you, to answer a question, to go to the website, to follow you on Twitter, to leave a rating. CTA is so important. And the time to do it, as always, is a little bit in the beginning and much more at the end. And you guys did a great job, especially in episode 33. In episode 34, you asked listeners a question. That is excellent. That is so generally it's it's you three guys and you're talking to each other. But suddenly when you ask your listeners a question, we really feel connected. And it's almost like an honor. Yeah. Yeah. OK. And everybody, please remember, even though you ask your listeners for their interaction, you ask them a question, you ask their opinion, you ask for a vote or something like that. If there's a hundred listeners and you get three responses, you're actually doing good. If there's a hundred listeners and you get 20 responses, you are unbelievable. You are just, you're like Joe Rogan. You're, I guarantee Joe Rogan probably gets three to 5%. Actually, I'm not going to guarantee that, but I'll bet three to 5%. 3%, just think 3%. If you got 100 listeners, if three people contact you, you're doing great. So if you got 50 listeners, if one person contacts you, you're doing great. If you got 20 listeners and nobody's contacting you, don't worry. Just keep going. So I have no idea what your numbers are. However, doing that type of thing, engaging your listener, asking them to email, asking them to comment, Asking for their opinion is crucial. Keep doing it, even though you may not be getting any responses. Don't worry about that. Do that. Keep it up. Um, also, in episode 34, at the very end, you reintroduced everybody's names. That was great. That was really good. People who create podcasts don't understand the importance of introducing yourself. So I do a radio show. I do a radio show every morning. And, you know, I I start start early or really early in the morning. But the way I look at it is if somebody's listening to my radio show, they're probably only going to listen to about 30 minutes. And then they're driving or, you know, they're at work or whatever. They're doing something else. You know, they wake up in the morning to the radio, listen to music, and that's it. Then they eat their breakfast, whatever. They're in their car and they're listening, whatever. So basically, I introduce myself over and over and over again. And I don't draw it out. I don't say, and my name is Mike Peterson. I don't say that. I just say, this is Mike here. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Mike here. Blah, blah, blah. Introducing yourself, reminding people of who you are and that goes for all three of you guys, is actually a good thing. Because remember, it's audio. We don't have an image of who you are. The only thing we have is your voice. And we like to put a name to voice. So think about that. Not just you guys, but everybody else. Even if you're doing a podcast all alone, mentioning your name, Mike, is a good thing. Okay? You asked your listeners in episode 34 a good uh, a question. I think that's fantastic. You reintroduced your names, especially at the end, at the beginning, but at the end of the podcast. That was great. However, at the end of episode 34, you had no outro. Mm, yeah, be consistent regarding that. Now, when it's more than two people, it is confusing for the listener, especially the new listener, people who are in tune with your podcast, people who know you, they like to listen. Uh, it's not going to be a problem. But for new people, what's really important is understanding who is talking to me, right? Is this Lajor, Latir, Ishmael? I don't know, okay? So I need to, I need to know Who's talking to me? So you guys have a YouTube channel. Just And anybody can go to YouTube and search the cartoon reboot and you'll find it. And I'm really, really happy. I was really, really happy to see the, your YouTube channel. And you did a fantastic job. We got to know your faces 
and we got to know your names better. Keep your names up. Don't leave them down. The The first format on YouTube for, I think it was episode one, was perfect. But I'm guessing that was a lot of work. However, that's what was perfect. It was really good. Now, I know right now you're not putting up a lot of uh, YouTube content. I, I only saw two videos as of now. And this is September, what is it? September 8th, 2021. So perhaps uh, you've put up more and you removed it. I don't know. Perhaps you're going to put up more. However, once again, the first video that you uploaded was perfect because we get to see who you guys are. We get to see your names. And you wouldn't believe how effective that was after I saw that video and I saw you three guys talking and I got a feel for, you know, the style of each of you. Then when I listened to your podcasts, audio only, it was so much easier to to enjoy the banter to hear the conversation because i could kind of see uh yeah this, this is this is this guy this is that guy this is that guy and it's it's very very important if it's three or more hosts i absolutely really 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 recommend putting yourself up on YouTube, or at least having a picture available to anybody easily that shows your voice, that, that shows your picture and your name, but it's better with the voice. So once again, what you guys did on YouTube, your first video was excellent. I thought that was really perfect. And from there, once again, you can send people to the podcast. And from podcasts, hey, if you want to know what we look like, if you want to know what whose voice goes with what face, then you got to check out our YouTube channel and you'll see us talking and this is the link and you know, what this, what, this is what you guys need to do. You did a fantastic job. So once again, going back to your intro and your outro, I really think you guys could use a better intro music-wise. It seems as though your editing skills are actually really good. I'm not sure who's doing it. But uh, the editing doesn't seem to be a problem. The audio quality is is uh, really good. It's it's good enough, absolutely good enough. However, I do believe that you should think about uh, an intro, and I think uh, tying in an outro a little bit better would be better. I liked what you did with the outro with the to the end. Actually, that was cool. But when you guys are finishing up your podcast it's kind of hard to to hear that so what's really nice is as you're finishing up the podcast just in the background throw up some music something okay um and that will let people know ah we're wrapping up time is finishing and that's a good cue to people this is the nice thing about music music obviously lets you warm up the show but it also lets you cool down the show and i think that was also missing and not just from your podcast but from a lot of podcasts out there you guys are doing great keep up the super work and if i were you i would take advantage of tj's offer and and this is to everybody when you're working with any artist whether it's a design for your podcast whether it's music for your podcast whether it's a website or whatever You have an image, right? You have an idea, you have an image, and you give it to the person. The more specific you are, the better it's going to turn out. If you just say, "Um, I want this, uh, how is anybody going to create anything you want? And you got to communicate. So uh, I'm not sure. Regarding the cartoon reboot, I'm not sure where you guys want to go with an intro. It's something that you're going to have to discuss. But IMO, IMHO, in my humble opinion, I think you really should uh, change your intro and get something cool. And I have a feeling TJ could probably make something for you if you guys have an idea of what it is that you want. That about wraps it up. Thank you so much for listening. 
We have lots of interviews coming up over the next couple of weeks. We're really excited. If you have someone you would like to hear from, you would like to learn from, please let us know. We'll do our best to get that person, that company, that uh, situation, whatever it is, on our show and get expert advice from them for you. Discuss your music podcast needs. Just send me an email, mike at introoutrobed.com. Discuss your podcast music needs with TJ. You can contact TJ. Contact. Yeah, that's it. Contact at introoutrobed.com. Send us any questions that you have on how to improve your podcast. Mike at introoutrobed.com for a podcast critique and a chance to get a free intro. Email contact at introoutrobed.com. Giving you the same, basically the same stuff all the time, but this is important. Please give our podcast a rating and comment wherever you get this show. Check out TJ's tracks on YouTube. She's got great music. And we're on Twitter and Instagram too. Just Google search intro, outro, bed. As one word, intro, outro, bed. Do you know what those three words mean? Yeah, I hope so. If you don't, let me know. Have an excellent week and make an excellent podcast.